Hello, hello, happy Monday. Welcome to my channel. My name is Kat. I am the Nurse Flipper. I am going to show you what I sold on eBay this past weekend. We also had great Poshmark sales once again, and we have a Etsy sale as well. We did not sell any on Mercari this weekend, but we sold over 1600 on eBay. We actually have a 60 two dollar sales price today absolutely amazing a ton of high dollar sales in this video you do not want to miss it some great stuff to look out for so let's go ahead and get started All right, so my eBay sales have actually slowed down due to my not listing very much in the last couple of weeks. So we only have 22 to ship out today, but it is over $1,600. There are quite a few that are very high dollar going out. So definitely want to keep this. I also want to say before I forget, hope you have a absolutely wonderful Thanksgiving this week with your family. Be safe if you are traveling. We are headed to the mountains in Pigeon Forge on Saturday for my birthday, which is Sunday, and we will be returning on Wednesday. Now, I will still be live tomorrow night, so don't forget that. And then next Tuesday, I'll be live from the mountains. So up first is actually some yarn. And on Friday, you are going to see a research video on yarn that is worth hundreds of dollars. This yarn, however, is not. So this is Red Heart, and this is one of the brands I talk about in the research video. This one skein sold for $6. I only paid 50 cents, so it's about a $4.50 profit, and it sold in under a week. Here on the tag, you can see the color is really red. So uh, as far as yarn, you want to look at the name of the yarn as well as the brand to see if there is value in it. Up next is a very, very cute chipmunk. I've had this chipmunk for over a year. I'm glad he finally sold. I hope he's somebody's really cool Christmas present. So it's a little chipmunk, a snail, the acorn. This one is marked UCCI Japan, and it does say chipmunk. And this little guy sold for $20.47. I only paid a dollar. He did take a while to sell, and he is about a $15 profit. Up next is a book. This is S.C. Gwine. Rebel Yell is the title of the book. It is about Stonewall Jackson. This one's sold for $7.78. I'm less than a dollar in. It is about a $5 profit. About selling books, my good friend Katie over at Katie Reads specializes in selling books. She makes some really cool bookmarks as well. So head over to Katie Reads, K-A-T-E-Y. Check out her channel if you're interested in learning about selling books because books are everywhere. Go check Katie out and she'll give you some great tips. Up next is the last of these license plates of Indiana. I had three of them that said the 1816 to 1966, 150 years anniversary. This one sold for $24.85. I paid a dollar, so this one is about an $18 profit and it sold in two months. And then a beautiful, beautiful Art Nouveau vintage brooch, citrine stone, really, really, detailed filigree work on this there is the back this one sold for $54.69 I paid about five so this one's about a $40 profit and it sold in about six to eight months up next is a pottery piece. If you are not familiar with this pottery maker, learn them. So this is a coma. This is Pueblo Indians. It is signed a coma, New Mexico. And this little owl sold for $41.58. I paid about $5 for him. So he's about a $30 profit and he sold in about six months. And then some more yarn what gave me the idea for Friday's video. This is 
Vanna's Choice. This is Vanna White. Really pretty colors in this one. This skein sold for $5.52. I paid $0.50, cents, so it's about a $4 profit, and it sold in under a month. So even though my yarn did not sell for much, some can sell for hundreds of dollars, and I'm going to show you exactly which ones on Friday. So don't forget to join me Friday. Share my channel. Share these videos. If you have friends you think could benefit from learning how to resell, making a little extra income, I would really appreciate it. It would help the channel grow. It would help me. So if you have friends you think might be interested in reselling, share out my videos, and thanks in advance for doing so. Up next is a really, really cool antique piece. So this is from the late 1800s, early 1900s. This is Mohawk Iroquois. It is a cornucopia pen cushion. And considering the age, I would say it's in okay condition. I did show all of these defects. Beautiful, beautiful piece. These are clear trade beads. And I did have somebody who was a specialist help me to identify this. This one sold, took about a year, sold for $103.99. I paid $20 or $25. So this one's going to be about a $60 profit. Up next is a Harley Davidson pen. This one does say Alamo City Harley Davidson. I paid a dollar. This one sold for nine and about four to five months, and it's about a seven dollar profit. Next is a beautiful piece. I actually had it on the display shelf back there. I enjoyed it for almost a year. It's been here almost a year. Look at how beautiful, and it's hard to catch those blues and greens. This has got so many colors beautiful handkerchief vase it is 15 inches tall absolutely stunning this one sold internationally it sold for a hundred dollars plus the buyer paid shipping i paid about 20 for this so it's going to be about a 60 dollar profit up next if you have not been watching my catch treasure hunting channel where i go thrifting into garage sales watch it i picked this up about two videos ago for $5 at the thrift store. It's sold in under a week for $110. This one is marked. You can see it says Emerald Garden down there. I don't want to dump it all the way. The eggs will fall over. This one is Little Miniature Fabergé Eggs. This sold international for a best offer of $110 in less than two days. I only paid five. I had it listed at 130 and I decided I haven't been having many sales because I haven't been listing. I'm not going to get greedy. That is a $90 profit in under a week. Up next, this was my friend Charlene's. So this is a Harley Davidson 105th year anniversary. We actually stored helmets in it. They fit in there perfectly. This is a sissy bar back bag and it does have clips to go onto the back of a motorcycle this was my friend Charlene's so her and I are going to split the profits it sold for $129.35 so watch out for that Harley Davidson stuff I actually have a big Harley buy I am going to go pick up tomorrow if you watch catch treasure hunting the last video i put out i got a ton of harley shirts and i told him to call me at the end of the yard sale and we actually made a deal and i will be going to pick that up tomorrow so that will be fun to get to show you i might not get to show you for a couple of weeks though with me going out of town this weekend so that bag is going to be about a hundred dollar profit split with me and my friend Charlene. She will get 50 as will I. Up next is a beautiful Moser panel glass. Amazing cobalt blue with really detailed gold gilt. This one I paid about $80. It sold for $160. So it's about a $50 to $60 profit. Sold in about a year. And I had a ruby red one that sold as well. Do you guys see this beautiful Mystic Topaz ring? This is going to be available on my whatnot tomorrow. So I'll have a preview at the end of this video. But this ring, I'm going to have a hard time getting rid of it. 
it is absolutely amazing sterling silver so tomorrow my whole whatnot auction it's going to start at 3 30 p.m eastern standard is going to be nothing but sterling silver including the giveaways i will be giving away five sterling silver pieces so come over and see me tomorrow on whatnot at 3 30 p.m eastern standard time also will be live on wednesday night i believe at 7 30 or 8 p.m eastern standard time and stay tuned to the end of the video and i'll give you a complete preview of everything that will be for sale up next is a Simpsons ornament. I am almost all out of these. Look, this is, you remember Miracle? I think it was Miracle on 34th Street where Ralphie licked the flagpole. So this one is Bart and this one sold for a best offer of $20. I paid five, so it's about a $12 profit. And then this Land of Lincoln tag sold for $14.62, making it about a $10 profit. And the same buyer of that first Simpsons ornament also bought this one that says finishing touch. And this one was also a best offer of $20. So the buyer spent 40. Up next is a little precious moment statue. I typically pass these by, I do not pick them up. Most were very, very mass produced. They do not sell for much money, but this one I got in a lot. So I figured I would go ahead and list it. It is a little precious moments little girl praying and it is marked there on the bottom and this one says thanking him it is from 1981 sold for 487 I'm less than a dollar in it's about a three dollar profit and then another of the high dollar sales this little King Fisher Fisher feather stick pen there's the back very old this is from the 1800s this one sold for hundred and twenty dollars plus the buyer paid shipping this one I only paid five so this is close to a hundred dollar profit still three left and actually somebody over on Poshmark is trying to buy two of them so I might sell another two today or tomorrow and that one did take almost two years to sell a year and a half had them a long time but I sold a bunch for over 200 when I first got them so I've been in the profit on those and then this beautiful beaded necklace this is a Thunderbird necklace really really pretty it's got the Native American children on it it's a really really pretty done one with the split and this one sold for $39 plus the buyer paid shipping I paid about $10 for this one so it's going to be about a 20 to $25 profit took about six months to sell up next is a beautiful glass ornament in its original box this one is a really cool fly fishing I almost dropped it a fly fisherman it is glass it is reverse painted and it does say steamboat this one sold for $25.98 and about three months plus the buyer paid shipping I paid a dollar this one's about an $18 profit and then somebody bought 30 30 of these vents if you don't know I bought a pallet of these vents for five dollars five bucks we have been in the profit after the first sale 30 of these sold for $60 plus shipping. They are just going an hour away from me, which is kind of funny. So this will be about a $50 profit. And then another license plate. This one's over $9.75 plus the buyer paid shipping. So it's going to be about a $6.50 profit sold in about three months. If you didn't see, it's hard to see. This is a little Elsa Peretti crab for Tiffany and Co. And I'm going to be starting this for only $20 tomorrow and whatnot. Beautiful. You can't see the Tiffany blue on its little claws. This is a signed Tiffany. I picked up this weekend at Renninger's. We had a hell of a weekend at Renninger's. We broke down on the way. We were stranded on the side of the road with our truck went to the auto parts store they told us it was the battery we got a new battery for 250 bucks five miles down the road it did the same thing so we ended up barely making it to the rental car place we dropped the truck off at the dealership it looks like it's going to cost us several thousand dollars happy happy birthday to me right and 
because it's electrical our mechanic can't fix it so we're stuck paying dealer prices it cost me like 600 bucks to rent a car for the weekend for Rittinger so I was a little stressed I didn't do a ton of shopping I only got jewelry so you'll actually see everything I got on the preview at the end of this video I just wasn't in a shopping mood it was a really stressful weekend so hopefully our trip to the weekend our trip to the mountains this weekend will be better and my birthday is on Sunday I hope I do not want any more broken down vehicles and thousands and thousands of dollars of bills it was not a fun weekend but I got to see my good friend George the antique nomad I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you a little clip of that right, right. now so here is George's booth George George is selling some stuff George has got some really interesting pieces Keep looking for more. I'll be here again. Dalton. Dalton. Miss Susan saw you. Oh, you said his name, Susan. That's all you had to do. And he's out of the car. I'm recording today a little bit. There's George. Hi, everybody. Did anybody come by yet? Cat recording, George recording, cat. Yes, exactly. It's so meta. <laughs> uh, yes, a couple of people have come by and said hello. And Look. hello, Dalton. How are you? Good. Good. <laughs> All right. Let's get back to those eBay sales. The last two. One of which is this Colts bobblehead. This is a pool noodle to stabilize the bobblehead. This one sold for $71.27. I paid $20 and it's about a $40 profit. Sold in about four months. And last on eBay, and then I'm going to show you all the Poshmark sales, was this cute little owl. I did pick this up while at a garage sale. He does have a messed up eye. I did make sure to notate that. He comes with this little nest. I picked him up for $2 in an estate sale. He sold for $22.49. So he is about a $15 profit. All right, over on Poshmark, and again, I use this perfectly to cross post. It is a service I pay for. If you want to try it, just Google List Perfectly or go to listperfectly.com. My code is the nurse flipper, all one word, no spaces, capital letters. You'll get 30% off your first month. That is how we put everything over. So this is a big stack of license plates. So this stack of license plates sold on Poshmark for $60. I am $8 in. It's going to be about about a $40 profit and they sold about three months so this Poshmark buyer bundled them all up said hey make me an offer they were at $80 these were all $10 plates and I offered her 60 she accepted and off they go and then also on Poshmark I sold this Alabama Crimson Tide beanie this one sold on Posh for $13 I paid a dollar so it's about an $8 profit and then this Callaway shirt, I actually got this from an online auction. It is a triple XL, just a red plain Callaway polo. This one sold for 17 and under two weeks over on Poshmark. I only paid about $2, so it's going to be about a $12 profit. And then this Harley patch sold over on Posh for $10. So it is going to be about a $6 profit. It did take about a year for this one to sell. I have had it for a little while. And then this Santa Claus nutcracker. There's his little nutcracker contraption. Little toy maker Santa. He sold for 20 over on Poshmark. And then we sold this scarf for $13 on Poshmark. This is going to be about an $8 to $9 profit. This one does have the made in Italy tag you see here it is polyester not silk so $13 sale about an eight to nine dollar profit and then over on Etsy look at this cool beach nutcracker I got all these in a lot I paid less than five this beach nutcracker sold for $30 on Etsy so he is about a $20 profit and last before the whatnot preview this is a giant Purdue blanket. I paid $4 for this. This one sold on Etsy for $40. So it's about a $30 profit and it's sold in about three months. I do put stadium throw blanket on these. It's got the Purdue mascot on it and it is reversible. So good sale on that one. All right, that is everything. Again, I so appreciate you. Share it out if you have friends. 
I will see you tomorrow on Whatnot, 3.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with a whole bunch of sterling that we are going to look at right now. All right, so here is all of the wonderful jewelry that will be available Tuesday, 3.30 p.m. Eastern Standard on Whatnot. Every single piece we will be doing is sterling. All of this is sterling silver brooches, bracelets, necklaces, pendants. That is a sterling kitty cat barrette. Yes, all sterling, sterling owl, sterling reindeer. Check out the gecko. We have got some great, great pieces. Check out this cameo freshwater pearl sterling bale. This is the Tiffany necklace I was wearing. Sterling Silver Tiffany signed Elsa Peretti. Tiffany & Co. Elsa Peretti worth over $200. It will start at $20. A couple of nice fetish necklaces, some amber, this amazing green turquoise, very heavy, heavy double-stranded necklace. All of these pendants are Sterling Silver as well as these amazing bracelets. We do have the one amber, cute little pineapple. Some antique and vintage filigree. Look at the blue topaz. Great, great pieces. So make, make sure you join us tomorrow. There's the mystic topaz I was wearing. Make sure you join us Tuesday, 3.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Whether you're shopping for yourself, presents, or to resell. Some of these have quite a bit of room. I look forward to seeing you Tuesday, 3.30 Eastern. I hope you guys liked the jewelry. Hope you come over, get some for yourself, get some Christmas presents. I love hanging out with you guys over on Whatnot. I appreciate you hanging out with me in the premiere tonight. Look forward to seeing you on Whatnot tomorrow as well. I will be live with George the Antique Nomad as my co-host, along with special guest Nikki Kaylee and scott from cha-ching king so come see us tomorrow night at 8 p.m eastern standard time i will see you somewhere tomorrow bye for now